Now, I'm not a big fan of cheesecake. It's something that I would eat、um, once in a while.、Um, I realized I had all the ingredients, so I decided to whip something up real quick. So let's get into it. So, I'll be using 16 ounces of softened cream cheese, and that's just two packs of the regular eight ounces. A cup of granulated sugar. I'm just gonna mix that a little bit. Make sure to scrape the sides down so that everything is blended smoothly and evenly. And then I'm gonna go in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, a half a cup of sour cream. This is optional, but it's gonna add even a more tangy flavor to your cheesecake. You will not regret it. Just a little bit of lemon zest, trust me on this. Two teaspoons of lemon juice, two large eggs. I will be mixing these in between each other. Be careful not to overmix and remember to scrape the sides down so that all the ingredients are mixed in well. I will be going in with some raspberry sauce. So I added around a half a cup of fresh raspberries to my skillet, followed by a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a little bit of lemon zest, followed by around two teaspoons of lemon juice. I brought all this to a boil on low flame while using a spoon to mash the raspberries. Once it gets to a thicker consistency, remove from heat and strain. I will be using a ready made pie crust for this recipe, but you can go ahead and make your own pie crust, which is very simple. So, I'm just gonna pour my batter into my pie crust. Then, I'm gonna gently shake to get a flat surface. Once sauce is cooled off, I'm just gonna use my spoon to pour it onto my batter, no special way. And then, I'm gonna use a knife to just make some random swirls. I baked at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for around 45 minutes, checking in between. I let it cool down, then I put it in the fridge to sit for around an hour,、um, and then I put it into the freezer. Mine wasn't set as yet, but I had to get this video done. But it was so, so delicious.